ERT stands for Electrical Automation and Robotic Technology. Okay, the Electrical Automation and Robotics Technology degree is a very interesting degree that deals with the uh, electrical industry. Basically it covers a lot of motor troubleshooting, PLC programming, it covers a little bit into solid state controllers as well as basic electrical code. Our students work as maintenance electricians or programmers for electrical equipment. They program programmable logic controllers and electronic devices that run that equipment. I was working in a field that I knew that I wasn't going to get anywhere and I was working every day and working long night shifts and a good friend of mine was also going in the ERT program and he said hey you know come to this program it's only two years of your life and you're going to learn more than you're going to learn at any other college in a four-year course. It's always been something that's interested me ever since I was little. I've always liked to take things apart, see how they work, put them back together. I always like to open things, break it, fix it and now that I'm working with IM Flash I have the opportunity to come and learn more about electronics. Probably just me personally, but I just enjoy the whole figuring out what's wrong, figure, you know, getting it to work, that kind of stuff. I want to do something with electricity, and this program you know, looked definitely like the best program I could find anywhere, just because it teaches you everything there is to know about any, almost anything that's electrical. I figured that the ERT program would, would support me, and I'd be able to make a career out of it. and establish a retirement. In the first semester of the electrical automation and robotics technology classes, we emphasize electrical math and electrical theory. We also learn the basic relays that are associated with motor controls. In the first semester, one project that was really fun was to actually make an electrical motor out of nails and wood and be able to build a simple one and watch it run and burn it up. A student graduating from this course uh, should be familiar with all motors inside and out, whether they are uh, large or small and they learn how to control them. Second semester we worked with pretty much every kind of motor that we can think of, uh, three phase, single phase, DC, and we've worked with a lot of relays and time relays. In the third semester, we emphasize hydraulics and pneumatics. Most machines and motors are run hydraulically or pneumatically. Uh, the fourth semester, we've gotten more into the PLCs. PLC stands for Programmable Logic Control. It's like a computer. You have inputs, such as maybe a switch. You can have outputs, like to turn a motor on, to open a valve, stuff like that. Knowing how the different parts work together, knowing what we need to look for for troubleshooting, a lot of that stuff that will apply to the industry. Also, the Electrical Automation and Robotics Technology uh, program is a precursor course to a BS degree. We currently have a BS degree in technology management. A student from here can move on to the technology management degree and within two years uh, have that degree completed also. I really enjoyed all my instructors. They were really fun. They were down to earth. You didn't have to be afraid to ask a question and uh, when you did have a question or else, you know, some, a certain project was blowing your mind, you'll say, hey man, I'm toasted. I, I can't think of anything. And they say, well, have you thought of this? Oh, no, I haven't. The teachers that we have, the instructors, know what they're doing. You know, they've had years of experience in the field. They know what they're talking about. They use great examples to explain to us how the things work. There's lots of opportunities right here in the area. There's places you can go just about anywhere with this with this kind of a degree, this kind of training that we get. Students in the electrical automation field uh, normally get offers in their first year but are required to graduate to uh, get those uh, jobs. In this uh, industry, the uh, maintenance electricians make anywhere from about uh, 18 to $30 an hour. I think it's about 95% of the students that graduate from the ERA program actually get hired on summer after 
they graduate. In the summer, I just got an internship with Kennecott Copper. I think there's three other guys who are going to Kennecott. Kennecott is a mining corporation. We mine for mainly copper. Towards the end of the third semester, Kennecott actually came into my program and did a little presentation. And there were three of us in the class that actually signed up to come up to the mine for an interview. And we actually all got up there and interviewed and they wanted to hire all three of us as interns. Here at Kennecott, I maintain electrical equipment such as shovels, drills, and other electrical pieces of equipment. We do what's called a PM on the shovels and the drills, and that's called, and we call it PM, it's preventative maintenance. They have a maximum amount of time that you can work as a temporary employee. Once that was up, they actually hired me on full time. For those students uh, anticipating coming to UVU to uh, attend the Electrical Automation and Robotics and Technology program, there is a lot of financial aid available. I get financial aid through our company. As long as we get a C or better, uh, they will actually pay for our tuition. There's a number of em employers who like to give out scholarships to high school students to come and take this program. Uh, students from the Electrical Automation and Robotics Technology course has participated in SkillsUSA for the last six, seven years. Our students have participated very successfully. We've had uh, winners nationally in electrical motor control, robotics, and megatronics. I, I uh, participated this year in Schools USA in the industrial motor control. I was really well prepared for it. I understood everything they wanted. Um, in most cases, we were able to do more than they had asked for. All the tests and everything they had us do were, were really easy. The tests that we take in class are at a different standard than the, the ones at Skills USA were. The thing I like most about the ERT program is that there was a lot of hands-on time throughout the program. I had looked at um, schools up in Salt Lake. All of them were very theory-based. You sat in a class and you could read a book really well, and that's why I, I come to, to Orem every day is so that I can get that hands-on experience that from what I can see no one else really has. The thing I like about the ERT program the most, I believe, was uh, the camaraderie we had with our fellow students. We worked very well together. You learn to work with a partner, which is very important in the workday. We learned to work together to, uh, through each other's pain and suffering and, and frustration, you know, learn to overcome those, those things. I believe this is a good field for females to get into only because there's not very many in there and that it could make a world of difference. For me personally, it just fits really good with my personality. It's great people you're working with. They're patient with you if you're having troubles. They don't mind answering questions. If it's the kind of thing that people like to do, this is the program for them.